Hi nurse here in reception, welcome to episode six. Now I hope you've had a lovely half term and we are really missing you, so we can't wait to see you come back. But until then, you've got a couple more videos, so episode six is gonna be very exciting. But the bit in the motor skills is possibly going to be a little bit tricky. So please make sure that you ask a parent or somebody at home, an adult at home, to help you because you'll need to set up some things. Now you're gonna have so much fun, you're gonna play a game that you play at school, which I know you really enjoy because we enjoy playing it with you. So you're gonna get the chance to play along with me and the rest of the PE team, that's Mr. Moore and Mr. Shaws. And then later you're gonna be doing your motor skills, which is gonna focus on your throwing. How exciting. I hope you have a great time and I can't wait to see you at the end. Good luck. Guess what we're going to be playing today? We are going to have a go at the game called Pirate Ship. Pirate Ship! Well done. Now we're going to have a go at this game, but obviously you guys are at home and we're at school, which means that we've got different sized spaces. So when you were at school, we would have done this out in the playground or in the hall, but because you're at home, we're going to give you different ideas to set up the game. Use the space you've got. Remember, if you're running around, if you haven't got a lot of space, use the on-the-spot method. So if you've got to run, stay on the spot. Or if you've got a bit more space, you'll be able to move about. Now we're gonna run through each of the moves, explain to you exactly what they look like, and then we're gonna have a go at the game. And maybe we might even try and find some of our friends to have a go as well. All right, so we're looking forward to this game. We'll see you in a minute. So to set your game up, you're gonna need a couple of things. And we've got a few things at school that we're gonna use. So we've got a towel, and we've got a box. And the reason why we've got that is because in our game, we would shout to the island or to the ship. And we need something to work towards to go to those spaces. Now, we've got a towel for the island because we're imagining a nice sunny beach side. So I've got my towel that's gonna act as an island and it will help me remember where the island is. And then over the other side, because we haven't got a lot of things that you might have at home, We've got a box, and the reason why we've got a box is it's going to act a little bit like our ship. So we're going to run to that end if we need to go to our ship. Now, if you have a small space, remember, if you hear at ease or any of the other running activities, you can do it on the spot. But if you hear to the island, you've got to run to where you've put your piece of equipment. If you hear to the ship, you're going to run to the ship. Okay, so to set up for the first part of your game, island, ship. But whatever you've got at home that you can remember, where you've put them is absolutely fine. So it might be a teddy, it might be a towel, it might be a pillow, it might be a bag. It could be anything. It's completely up to you and what you can find. So that is to the island and to the ship. The first instruction is at ease, at ease. Now, when I say at ease, you're going to run around in a circle. I've got a little bit of space, so I'm gonna run around in a circle. But again, as Miss Bowie said, depending on the space you've got, you might be running on a spot if you haven't got a lot of space. If you've got more space and it's safe to do so, then you could, could run a bit further. So safety always comes first. So at ease is running around in a circle, Rather than watching out for your friends, watch out for the things in your house. At ease is run in a circle. Have a try. So the next instruction we've got is called climb the rigging. And the idea is that we'll be climbing up a ladder to get to our lookout point. So to climb the rigging, we've got to move our hands and our feet as if we're climbing up a ladder. Now we'll do that generally on the spot, so this is quite good if you've got a small space. But climb the rigging is here. If you're going faster, you might climb it faster, and your feet and hands might be going faster. So either way, it's on the spot, it's moving your hands and feet at the same time to climb up your imaginary ladder. Good luck! The next instruction is stranded turtle. I love a stranded turtle. So for this one, it's going to be on the spot, on your back, on your turtle shell and you're going to wave your feet and legs in the air like you just don't care. And the idea behind this one is you need to react super fast but be really careful when you're going down on your back. And don't worry, no turtles were hurt in the making of this game. Good luck, have a practice. 
The next instruction we've got is called Captain's Coming. Captain's Coming. Can you remember what we do for that move? That's it. We're going to salute our captain. Now, to show respect to our captain, we've got to have our shoulders back. We've got to be stood up nice and tall. We've got to salute a really sharp action. Now, if your captain thinks that you haven't done it properly, they're going to send you to walk the plank. Oh my goodness, that's so scary. And can you remember what we do with walk the plank? That's it. We take three steps and then we do a big jump. Now remember, if you haven't got a lot of space, you're going to need to do that in your area. But if you can move, then do those three steps forward. So, I shouted, Captain's coming! But the captain doesn't think I've done a good job. They're going to shout, walk the plank! Oh no! So I might move to look for space. And I'm going to go, one, two, three, jump! Oh no! I made it into the water! But then hopefully the captain will give me another instruction and all will be well. So remember that salute's got to be super strong, otherwise they're going to make us walk the plank. Good luck! Our next instruction is scrub the deck. Can you remember what scrub the deck was? I wonder what we have to do. That's right. You've got to get down and make your pirate ship super clean. So you've got to go down on your knees, scrub, scrub, scrub. Make it really clean, really fast, really fast, super fast. And that is Scrub the Deck. Sounds exciting, doesn't it? I cannot wait to start playing. I hope you can't too. Okay, Mr. Moore's gonna have a go at the game. Are you ready? Exciting. <gasps> to the island. Oh, where's the island? I think it's this way. Well done, Mr. Moore. To the ship! At ease. Oh, I'm going to run around in a circle. Scrub the deck! Quick, quick, quick. Make it really clean. Stranded turtle! Oh. Captain's coming! Oh, was he, was he good? At ease! Thank you, so calm. To the ship! To the island! Climb the rigging! Can I get to the top? At ease! Captain's coming! Oh, floppy arm! Walk the plank! One, two, three, jump! Ooh. To the island! To the ship! It's gonna get faster! Scrub the deck! Mr Moore's worked too hard and now he should have a rest. Well done Mr Moore. Thank you. Are you ready Miss Bowyer? Always. Okay, let's get started. To the ship. <gasps> that way. Well done. To the ship. Oh, oh Mr Moore. To the island. At ease. Now I'm going to use a little bit of space. To the island. <gasps> oh no, this way. Climb the rigging. Captain's coming. <gasps> oh, was that quick? That was speedy. To the ship. At ease. Stranded turtle. Oh no! Stranded turtle. <laughs> Mr. Moore. Scrub the deck. Quick. At ease. <gasps> Captain's coming. That was pretty good. To the island. Let's see if we can catch Miss Bowyer out. To the ship. To the island. To the ship. To the ship. Oh. Captain is coming. Stranded turtle. No. Captain's coming. Oh no, can't get up, can't get up. Oh, Miss Bowyer is going to have to walk the plank. Oh man. One, two, three, way! Well done, Miss Barrio. Great Thank job. You. Okay, let's see how Mr. Shops gets on in our pirate ship game. 
Ready? To the island! To the island! Away. To the ship! To the ship! Captain's coming. Walk the plank. That was a floppy hand. One, two, three, jump! At ease! Running around in a circle. Look at that speed. Stranded turtle! Stranded turtle! Captain's coming! To the island! To the ship! To the island! To the ship! To the ship! Climb the rigging! Scrub the deck! Climb the rigging! To the island! Stranded turtle! Climb the rigging! Trying to turn to <laughs> Well done, Mr. Schultz. <laughs> Today's motor skill activity is going to be thrown for a target. Something that I find super exciting. Now, for this activity, you're going to need three targets. That could be a box, a towel, a bag. It could be three bags. It could be three towels or three boxes. Whatever you can find in your house that's safe to use and that you can use as a target. You're also going to need six socks because our aim today is to try and get our socks to hit or land on our target. Sounds super exciting, doesn't it? Look forward to seeing you in activity number one. Activity number one. Now for this activity, I've got my three different targets set up. I've got my six socks set at my starting position and my pillow is going to be my starting point, just so I know where I need to throw from each time. Now for this first one, I'm going to aim for the closest uh, target to me. I wonder what's the closest target to me? That's right, it's the box. So I'm going to have six goes to see how many times I can hit the box or get my sock to land inside. Once I've had six attempts, I'm then going to do it on the towel and then I'm going to challenge myself with the bag. So we're getting pl plenty of time to practice at this first activity. Super exciting. Let's see how I get on. Underarm throw, throw from my hip. Pointing to my target, that helps. Yes. Am I throwing it really far? I'm not, because it's really close. So I need to think about the power I'm putting into my shot. Oh, that was close. Brilliant, I managed to get four in, but remember, it doesn't matter if you don't manage to get any or hit any, you're just having a good practice to see where we are. I'm now going to the towel, let's see. It's gonna be a little bit more of a challenge, but with the towel, it's got a bigger surface area, so I've got more of a target to aim for. I seem to have done a bit better aiming for the second target. I wonder how you'll get on. Let's have a go at the last one. This one is super tricky. I wonder, am I going to have to put a bit more power than the previous two into this last one? That's right, I am. It's further away. So remember, it doesn't matter, you can hit your target, get inside, get near it, practice in this round. Ooh. Good shot. Underarm thrown from my hip. Why don't you have a practice? Let's see how you get on. Let's see how Mr. Schultz gets on on activity number one. Good luck. Thank you. Mr. Schultz has done this before. Now he's going to move on to activity level number two. Slightly trickier. Further away. Well, 
job. Go harder. How do you think Mr. Shops is going to get on in this last one? Six out of six. Well done, Mr. Schultz. Activity number two. So a slight progression to activity number one, which is exciting stuff, we're challenging you now. Now for this one, you have to try, after you've had your practice, to hit the target. So with your six socks, you have to pick one up. If you can get your sock inside the box, or hit your box, you get to move on to the next level. If you don't, and you're going to keep practicing at the same level until you do achieve it. All the way to see if you can get to the end level, so level number three, the bag at the end, with your socks. So let's see how I get on. So underarm, throwing from my hip, pointing with my other hand. Oh no, I missed. So would I move on? That's right, I would. I'd have to challenge myself, try again with the box. Let's see if I can hit the box this time. I hit the box, so brilliant, I can move on to the towel. So remember, I've got to try and hit the towel or get the sock to land on the towel. Pointing with my opposite hand, throwing from my hip. Yes, I managed to hit the towel. That means I've got three tries to see if I can hit the bag. Let's see. So close. Yes, so far. Pointing again. Last one, can I get to level number three? Can I complete level number three? Where's the one? Oh no, I didn't manage to get to level number three, but that just means I'm gonna keep practicing. I managed to get to level number two, which is a great achievement. Some of you might only get to level number one, but that is not a problem. As I always say, practice makes progress. Have a look to go close at this. It's a really fun activity. See you in activity number three. Let's see how Mr. Shops gets on. Good luck. Yep. So he's just got to hit the target. Well done, you can move on. Boy, that was close. Well done, Mr. Shops hit the target. Too hard. Well done, Mr. Shops. Activity number three. Now, similar to activity number two, but on this one, the difference is, rather than just hitting your targets, you have to get your sock to land on or inside the target. So for example, when you're throwing your sock, it has to go inside the box. When you're throwing your sock, you also have to try and get on the towel. And again, for the level number three, the final level, it has to get inside the bag. So if it hits anything, it doesn't count. It has to stay on or inside the box, or the towel, or the bag. Let's see how I get on. I've got my six socks again. I've got my starting point. Underarm throw, pointing to the target I'm throwing at, which is my box. Yes, I managed to get the sock inside the box, so now I can move on to level number two. Let's see. Not quite, I'm gonna to have to do that one again. I hit the towel, but it landed off, so it bounced off the towel. So I still have to do that again, because that doesn't count. That is just on. Just managed to do it. Activity one, level number three. I've got to get inside the bag. I hit the bag, but it doesn't count. I've got to get inside, let's see. Last two, last two. I've hit the bag, last one. To get inside the bag, pressure's on. Unlucky again, I made it to level number two. I hit the bag, but I didn't get it inside. So that's my little bit of a challenge. I'm gonna keep practicing until I can try and get all the way to level number three and get the sock inside the bag. Good luck, see you in our challenge round. Activity number three. Good luck, Mr. Schultz. So it's got to get it on the target or in the box to move on. So 
are close. Well done, Mr. Shows. Yay, challenge time! Now we've had plenty of practice, here comes our challenge. Now today's challenge is with your six socks, you've got to try and complete level number three. You've got to see how many levels you can complete. But if your sock doesn't land inside the box, or it doesn't land on the towel, or inside the bag, you have to start again. So same as level number two and three, you have to get your sock to land inside the box on your throat, then you can move on. However, if I go to throw my sock and it bounces off my towel, I have to start all the way back at level number one again. So I have to do it again. So I might even go, yes, I managed to get it inside the box, brilliant. I managed to get it onside the towel. Managed to get it on the towel, brilliant. If I get up to level number three and I miss, I have to start all the way from level number one. Now I've only got two socks now. Let's see if I can still do it. Unfortunately, I made it to level number one. I threw my sock, it hit my towel and bounced back off. I'd have to start again from level number one, but I've got no socks left. So that means I've made it to level number one. Have a practice, it's a challenge. We love a challenge at Newington. Show some zest, some grit. You can do this. Let's see how he gets on. Look who I found, it's Miss Bowyer. Good Let's luck. see if I can do this. Good shot. Whoa, Miss Bowie's making it look easy. Oh, oh no. no! Oh no, I just have to start again, don't I? Miss Bowie's okay, got stuck so again from the back beginning. Back to the box. I did get level one. I did pretty well. Well done, Miss Look Bowie. Look who I found, it's Rachel. Good luck with your challenge, Rachel. Good shot. On the towel. Yes! Wow. Oh, for the bag. Oh, no. Just start again. Box. Towel. Yes. And the bag, here we go. No! Oh, for the box. Well done, that was brilliant. I was getting worried then. What an amazing score. Good job. Look who I found, it's Mr. Eldred. Morning reception. Let's see how you get on a new challenge. Good luck. Okay, we'll put the socks in the box like Dr. Zeus looking out for the fox. Oh! So close. <laughs> yes! Well done, level number two, Mr. Eldred. Level number two, fantastic. So now we're gonna go for the towel. The owl in the towel. Oh! Good shot. Oh! Final level. Now I've got to get. <laughs> Drum roll. <laughs> yeah! oh, so close. Start again. You've got to do it again with the two you've got left, Mr. Eldred. Come on, man. Oh! Well done, Mr. Eldred. <laughs> Level one. You've done so well, you made it to level number one. Thank you very much. Same with my piano playing. Look who I found, it's Miss Gunn. Hi. Good luck on your challenge, Miss Gunn. Let's see how he gets on. Good shot. So close. Oh, I'll give you that one. Part of it's still on the towel. Level number three. Well done, Miss Gunn. You managed to achieve level number one. Brilliant stuff. Yay! You completed episode six. Well done. Wasn't it great to see Miss Gunn and Miss Emery 
and Mr. Eldred. I mean, that is super exciting. And I reckon they've gone away and had a practice as well. And that pirate ship game we love. Now, don't forget, you can always rewind or redo these videos. That's the point of YouTube. It's great fun. You can just restart. And if you've got any videos or pictures that you'd like to send in, I know if you send them to your class teachers that they will show us. And we love seeing how you've got on. But all that's left to say is well done for today and we will see you in episode 7. Bye!